Hello, good evening. I am Krishna Reddy, lecturer in chemical engineering, Government Institute of Chemical Engineering, Visakha Patnam, Andhra Pradesh. So today our topic is a molasses fermentation for ethyl alcohol production. So basically what is the molasses means? It is a sugar uh, scrap solution from sugar industry, which is, using which we can go for ethyl alcohol production using the technique of fermentation. Though there are so many methods of production of ethyl alcohol, we go for the technique of fermentation. The reason is, <coughs> compared to the remaining commercial chemical reactions, the technique of fermentation results in the pure products, especially without any side reactions, without any byproducts. So the technique may be is classified is of two types: fermentation, that is aerobic fermentation and anaerobic fermentation. If fermentation carried out in the presence of air or oxygen, we call that one as a aerobic fermentation. If it is carried out in the absence of air or oxygen, we call this one as anaerobic fermentation. So in this particular, we go for anaerobic fermentation, that is in the absence of oxygen or air. So as I told you, though uh, there are so many industrially uh, produced processes, here we are preferring this one in the laboratory method. So we can produce with a low cost. So industrially produced alcohol, one liter cost about 500 rupees. Whereas if you see this technique in the laboratory itself, within 125, 125 rupees to 130 rupees, we can uh, uh, produce the ethyl alcohol. The simple technique is, the chemical reaction involved in this process is, when the sucrose is hydrolyzed in the presence of yeast, under favorable conditions, the microorganism yeast produces two types of enzymes, that is invertase and gymase. Then when the glucose and the fructose are formed, immediately, the first in the enzyme invertase will convert the glucose into fructose and uh, sucrose into glucose and fructose. Then the enzyme gymase will convert the glucose into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide, which is a important byproduct in this molasses fermentation. As I told you, the basically the fermentation defined as the action of a particular microorganism on a particular substrate to give the required product. Here the substrate means a reactant in the reaction. The ethyl alcohol has uh, so many wide ranges of uses. Basically, it can be used uh, as a mixer of uh, gasoline to use the automobile fuels, which is called as a uh, gas hulls, which is very important alternative fuel for gasoline. And it is very important a laboratory reagent and uh, widely used in pharmaceutical industries. It also can be used as a uh, uh, preservative in uh, biological uh, specimens and uh, antifreeze in automobile industries. So as I told you, if you see the other process of uh, fermentation of molasses to get the alcohol uh, in the laboratory level, it's very simple. So with a uh, uh, lot of uh, experimentation, we concluded an ex an uh, very good experiment. We took the one liter of distilled water, which is heated up to the above the room temperature between 35 to 40 degree centigrade. And uh, we add uh, uh, one, one fourth kg of uh, sugar, which we are calling as a synthetic uh, uh, method and for which we had the 2 grams of uh, yeast bacteria so which is available in uh, batteries uh, nearby our uh, colleges we can collect so that uh, when that 1 litre of distilled water with uh, 250 grams of sugar and uh, 2 grams of uh, yeast when it is uh, taken in a plastic can and when the neck of the plastic can is uh, tied with a balloon which is a pole then after 7 hours we can able to observe the bubbling in the balloon which means that the cultivation part is completed that is the fermentation of molasses can be divided into two stages the first one is the cultivation stage and the second one is recovery stage once we can able to observe the bubbling in the balloon which means that the cultivation is ready and ready to go for rectification of alcohol then once it is uh, collected in the simple distillation setup and when we go for simple uh, distillation then we can uh, recover the from 1 liter of uh, cultivated mass, we can able to get the uh, 160 ml of alcohol. So when it is uh, commercialized to 1 liter, it costs about only 125 to 130 rupees. So as I told you, uh, for a chemical engineering students, uh, uh, alcohol is very important reagent in uh, laboratories and in uh, chemical industries, which has a wide range of applications. When uh, uh, when in the process of fermentation of molasses using this particular technique, the favorable conditions are for yeast to develop uh, 2 grams of uh, 
uh, yeast per 1 litre of distilled water and 250 grams of uh, sucrose and which is maintained at the temperature of 35 to 40 degrees centigrade and in the pH range of 4 to 5 so that we can able to get the maximum yield of ethyl alcohol. So it is a very simple technique and uh, we can uh, you can also train the laboratory and we can able to go for its uh, uh, yield value and its percentage of conversion. Thank you.